Assalamu alaikum. In today's tutorial, we will see how to calculate xx, yy, and zz components of CVEC coefficient. Here, I have uh, the results of uh, CVEC coefficient calculated using Win2K and Bootstrap. The procedure that I followed is described in a previous video. This one calculation of CVEC coefficient using bootstrap 2 and Win2K. If you need to know how to calculate the CVEC coefficient, you may watch this one. Okay, now here I did everything as described in the previous video, but let me show you the result that is uh, available for the CVEC coefficient. So the result is uh, this one, this file, XPC. Let me open that one. So, you can see here the results are plotted for 300, 350, 500 and 600 Kelvin temperature in a single phase and then the starting from 350 Kelvin the results are plotted. Now if you see the data that I have calculated, I started from 300 degrees Celsius and stopped at 600 sorry 300 Kelvin and it stopped at 600 Kelvin with an interval of 50. So what I did, I calculated for 300, 350, 400, 450 up to 600 Kelvin. But if you see the result here, you will find only here you will find 300, 350, 500 and 600. The uh, datas that are in between that is 400, 450 and 550 are missing in this graph and in the individual plot 300 is missing. You have 350, 400, 450, 500, 550 and 600 but the uh, data the plotting for 300 Kelvin is missing. Now we can use this one this button BTP2 plot to plot all these components but uh, with the, we do not have any file where the components are plotted. So let's see that the results for the components. So these are the results for component. So this is uh, xx, this is yy, this is zz as you can see. Now I want to show a procedure that uh, here, uh, sorry here one more thing actually. I selected it to plot only for uh, 300 and 400. Let me go back and show you that I can also plot for all this. Here actually two are selected. So if I select one, uh, sorry. If I select one here and this one, then I will have all the datas plotted. Now I have 300, 350, 400, 450, up to 600, all this. But I can generate these plots, but I do not know where are the data is, are. Actually, the data are in this uh, test btz file because in my case the directory is test. So it is case.btz file, but it is a, a zip file and the data are in a specific format that is difficult to extract. So I wrote a script using which I can get all the components, uh, the, uh, all the data for these components plotted and also this problem is corrected. So I will use this, the script here. If you go to the script section in my web page, the details uh, or the link of the web page will be given in the description box. If you use this one, plot xx, yy, zz components of CVEC coefficient the script then we will have all these things. I will show you. If you need to review how to use external script, you may watch this video. Okay, let's go to the uh, use the script now to see the result. So I have my script is saved in this directory. So I will use this one that is plot coefficient.sh script. Now if I run it, 
Okay. It shows that the uh, energy files, uh, files with uh, a chemical potential constant are like this. This is actually created by uh, this button, Bolts underscore plot plus 2, that is, have been crea this created all these things. Um, now and the temperature that the, the, the same uh, program created temperature files are these and these are the ps file or that that is created now this my script created all these files so this is tt300 in these files you have the results uh, for civic coefficient and the uh, total one and also the xx yy and zz components i'll show you in a minute and the uh, data are also in this file the civic dot that and uh, the plots are here and all the plots are saved with this in this folder so let's uh, open this folder and see the results so this is the folder so here is the file you can see now so i have everything plotted 300 350 400 450 500 550 600 kelvin all these things and you can see here now I also have 300 Kelvin, 400, 350, everything, 400, 450, 6, 500, 550, 600. While in the uh, plot generated by the the uh, program, this one, Bolts underscore plus two, only had this thing 300. 350, 560 and 300 also was missing here. Okay, now there are also the access components. So this is the access components plotted. Uh, so you can compare this one. Let's say no, this is not the access component. So here, this is the access component. So this is the same and uh, here I have all this plotted and also the temperature uh, separately the temperature dependence are plotted here. So I have the XX, I have YY, I have ZZ. And if you look at the data, civec.dat, this file. So I have the energy, chemical potential, temperature. This is the total civec coefficient. This is the XX component. This is YY component. This is ZZ component. Now here is for the, all the temperatures. But if you look at this one, the TT300, this is only for 300 Kelvin. Similarly, I have 350, 400, 450, 500, 550, and 600, all the others. And all the plots that are generated by this program, sorry, this program is also saved in, in this directory. So, using this script, now you can plot all the components and the civic coefficient, and also you have all the data. So now if you want to plot them in a separate way uh, for PNG or something like that, you can easily do so because the, the data are saved in different files and easily uh, readable. So I hope this will be helpful. Thank you.